Hello. So we are back Thursday and we have a job. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. This is a gaming laptop, MSI gaming laptop. It's a MSI GE62 VR7RF Apache Pro. This is a nice one. You have a, a Gen 7 CPU, you have GTX 1060. It's a nice gaming laptop. Okay, let's test it. So this laptop came here. Yeah. Turning off randomly. So the laptop it does come on. We can press the power button. We can see it's coming on. Let's shut down the laptop. What the customer said. The laptop is turning off. But actually, it's turning off a lot when he's gaming. So what do you think you'll think about this? So it's turning off mostly when he's gaming. You'll think it's an overheating issue. So what does it mean? Does it mean dust in the inside of the heatsink on the fans? Can be, yeah. Thermal paste? It's never the thermal paste. Yeah. Most likely it's a cooling issue. If I will show you the back of the laptop, you can spot the problem in a second. Huh? Let me show you the back. The back, uh, the back uh, is removed. It's a nice gaming laptop, so you can spot the problem, like in one second. <laughs> obvious, yeah. Something obvious, like the f this fan has dust on it. This doesn't. Huh? It's pretty obvious. Okay, so let's power on the the laptop and check. The laptop is on. The fan, this fan is spinning. This not. And you'll think, sorry, you are wrong. This fan is spinning when this heatsink is getting hot. And this fan is spinning when this heatsink is getting hot. You're right. Okay? You can be right. You can be right. Yeah? So, can be like to have a temperature sensor. And let's say this is a processor. Okay, when the processor is hot, the fan is spinning. And this is the GPU. And the GPU, the fan is spinning when the GPU is hot. That's why it's a good idea to come with the hot air, yeah? Hot air, we have 500 degrees Celsius. And heat up the heatsink. This heatsink, it will suck up a lot of heat. I can see this fan is spinning faster now, but this is still dead. And the fact actually is no dust on it, it make me believe this fan is not working. Yeah, the laptop is on. So that can be a reason why this laptop it will shut down when you are gaming. Because on the heatsink you have two pipes on the processor, one from the GPU, but only one pipe from the GPU, which is going to this fan. And two pipes from the GPU, and probably this is from the chipset, which is going on this side. This is a nice gaming laptop. You know, I like it, the way how it's made. So, yeah, you have only one pipe which is working, but two are not working because this fan is not spinning. So, uh, let me shut down the laptop. Okay, the laptop is off. Now the next question is, so the fan is faulty because it is spinning. We have a faulty fan. The fan is not spinning. But how we can know? Yeah, it's not like, okay, so if the fan is not spinning, the fan is faulty. Doesn't work like that. We can check the fans, yeah? Let's unplug the fan. 
So you have red, blue, black and yellow. Let's unplug this fan. Okay, let's come with the power supply. Power supply, we have around, uh, let's say, 5 volts. And you have to come with the power on the black and white. Okay, uh, on the red and black, sorry. Red and black, red is plus, black is minus. And the fan is spinning, you can see. Okay, let's check this one. Red and black. And the fan is spinning. Who said the fan is faulty? <laughs> so the fan is spinning. So the fan is good. Even if you replace the fan, it will not work. So what's the issue here? You see already from a simple... Uh, solution like you know overheating must be a easy job we just clean the fans we just replace the thermal paste and we are getting the money but actually it's not the case this already now in this moment the job complicated a lot yeah because obviously the driver has a the, the fan has a driver and the driver has a temperature sensor somewhere you don't know where you don't know even where is the driver because we don't have schematic and uh yeah, already complicated a lot. The solution. The solution is to use the same drive room from here. Because most likely the processor and the GPU, not even they are sharing some pipes, they usually they are, uh, they are getting hot on the same way. Or maybe let's say, the GPU is not getting that hot how the processor. So the GPU is getting hot when you're gaming. But the processor is always hot. Always. It's you can feel it warm. So we can use this driver for this fan. The driver it will work can supply extra power. Yes, it can't. Any any things on the on electronics. Let's see, you design a power supply. If I need one amp power supply, I will design a two amps power supply just to be sure I don't have problems. Yeah? So anything here is over the specification. Over the, the, like, let's, let's say this fan needs 500 milliamps. I'm sure the driver can handle easily one amp. Yeah? So let's plug back the fan. Now keep in mind, this can be a digital fan or not. I have no idea, like I was saying, I have no schematics, but the, the fan has four wires. So somehow he is reporting the temperature. The, he is reporting the RPM to the board. So we will not going to touch yeah, the... We have red, blue, black, and yellow. We will not going to touch the yellow and blue and black, okay? The only things one will gonna touch will be the red one. Okay, so what we will do, we'll break the red wire and we will use one wire to the red wire from here. But well, you have to cut this down, yeah? Never make a jumper without disconnecting this faulty thing, yeah? You don't know, maybe it's connected to ground, maybe you have no idea what's going on there, so you have to first cut the wire. That's, that's the first thing what you have to do. It's like, you know, with the bombs, you cut the red wire. But this is obvious, you know, red. It's obvious, okay, it's red, has to be cut down. <laughs> Why red has to be cut down? For a simple reason, if we are checking with the multimeter, let's get a multimeter. Diode mode. Getting ground from the USB and checking the ground of the fan. And you can see the ground of the fan is zero. Okay? That means the fan is regulated on the plus, not on the ground. Can be on the ground. Can be. Can happen. You can put the regulator on the ground, but no one is doing it. Yeah? So it's regulated on the plus. That's why you have to cut down the red wire. Pretty basic stuff, yeah? 
Let's go down the well. We can't click on that. Let's get something else. Okay, we cut down the red wire. Nothing explode here. Let's plug back the fan. Let's have a look under the microscope, yeah? This is just a little trick how you can uh, fix this laptop quickly. Because otherwise, it can be very complicated without a schematic, yeah? You can follow the plus, you can see what driver is. And then maybe you can't find the driver and... Yeah. Okay, so we have the red one. Oh, what I did. I don't need that red wire. One second. I don't need this. I don't. I don't need this. I need this. Uh. Okay. We need this wire, which is going to the fan. Yeah. Right. That's what we said. So we need this red wire. Good. Now let's grab a wire. This wire should be good. From here to here. Perfect. Hmm? I soldered the wire. <laughs> okay. And now... Let's solder the wire here. Okay, that's our red wire. The wire is soldered. And now we are going to the other fan. Yeah, we are going to the other fan. And you can solder where we can solder this way. I will say let's solder the wire here. Let's get some flux. Yeah, the connector has some paint on it. Let's solder the wire here. Yeah. Perfect. Now what is left is to check it's working or not. We have this wire from here, here. Okay. Let's isolate this wire. Now let's power on the laptop. Yeah. On. And one fan is spinning and one not.
So what did I did wrong? I think I know what I did wrong. Okay. So actually, the fan has the voltage. You see, that's that's when you are getting the things wrong. I should check if there is five volts because it is five volts. So the fan is kept down by the by the one of the wire, the blue or the yellow. Let's check on this the, this one. On this one, the yellow has one point six, and the blue. Let me plug the charger. I think the battery is low. I should check. Why I didn't check? I can't believe. It was so simple, you know, it was just cutting the wire down and that's all. Why I didn't check? Yellow. 2.6, 1.6, but this can be the RPM reading. And the blue is still nothing. Now on the blue I have 0 0.9. Let me stop the fan and check the RPM. Zero point nine. Let's stop the fan. Zero. So when I stop the fan, it's going to zero. So 0 0.9, stopping the fan and in the voltage, it's about the same. And the yellow one, 1.6, stopping the fan, nothing happen. Can be a digital fan. What do we have on the other fan? On the yellow, we have nothing. On the blue, we have nothing. We have no voltage here. Okay, let's cut the yellow down. Nothing happened. Let's cut the blue down. Let me power off the laptop first. Cut the laptop, it is off, yeah? Wait, even the black comes out. But well, that's not an issue. Press power on the left. Huh? And the fan is spinning at the full speed. Yeah? So the tricky wire was the blue one. The blue wire is not working.
What's the solution here? We can make the we can make the the fan spinning at full speed, but that that's not our solution. You know, no one want a full speed fan on uh, on their laptop. Okay. I should check from the beginning if I have 5 volts there, but I didn't. Usually you can, uh, you can, have, you can order the fans on, on two or three ways. Yeah? One is the, the, the simple way, you change the voltage from 0 to 5 volts, yeah? and you adjust the RPM. That's most of the fans are like that. And you have the middle wire which is reading the RPM, you know, the when you have red, yellow, and black. Then you have this version of fans with four wires, which, I, you know, I believe these are not digital. I swear these are not digital. You, you can have like four wires to be a digital plus minus, which is always five volts. You have two wires, clock and data. Or you can have like this. And I believe one is reading the RPM and one is, uh, is it's adjusting the fan speed. Yeah? So we need only the wire which is adjusting the the fan speed from here here. So I don't remember. I said the blue wire is the bad one. Yeah, I think that's what I said. So it's even more complicated than I thought. But I took it wrong from the first time, from the beginning. I should check if I have 5 volts. But I didn't expect this kind of fan here. I didn't expect it. So back the black wire is soldered back here. Yeah? Now the red wire. Which is soldered back. So black and red they are back. Okay. The blue I said is the bad wire. If I remember. Actually the yellow is the good wire. But let's power on the laptop and check again what is happening here. So the laptop is on. The fan is spinning at full speed. The fan is spinning at full speed. Now I need to know when the fan is stop working. Is by the blue or by the or by the red wire? By the yellow. Let me touch the blue one. Touching the blue one, yeah. So connecting back the blue one and the fan is stopping. So the blue is the bad wire. 
the yellow the yellow should be reading the rpm and that should be fine we can solder back that wire Uh, okay, I can't see without the microscope, so I have to solder back the yellow wire. Now keep in mind we are working with the power on yeah and this is an expensive laptop which make me you know a little bit anxious Yeah, here is a lot of plastic. There's the blue wire. <laughs> so let me use a little bit of hot glue. looks dodgy but i don't want to solder the wires on the board that's the that's the thing i don't want to solder the wires on the board Okay, so that's the blue wire, and the blue wire has to come here. Okay, so the wire is solder. Let's see. Power on. And it's dead because there's no power. Let me plug the power. Power on. And 
and the boat's fans are spinning at the same RPM. Nicely. Mm -hmm. So you go now what you have to check. Let me use a little bit of hot glue there. Now I know you'll think, okay, sorry, it's look, looking dodgy, you know. But you have to understand, here you have a faulty motherboard, okay? You just trick the motherboard. So I believe it's quite fair what we did here to save this motherboard. Because if 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 I'm right, the the wire which is not working, which is which is ordering the fan to be on or off, is coming from the super I/O which is here. Yeah, the super I/O also is reading the temperature. <laughs> so if you go on the other on the other way and try to replace the super I/O. This job will get a lot more expensive, and, um, and the problem is you have a working laptop. If anything goes wrong and it, the laptop goes dead, you'll have a big problem. So this is quite a fair, uh, a fair solution, what we did here. I mean, I can't see what else you could do. I, I, you can do, but you will take the risk. That's what I mean. You will take the risk. Because you will take the risk, not the customer. And the boat fans are spinning and everything is cold and nice. All done. This is a nice laptop. Look, even the the, the processor uh, power supplies are uh, cooled down. The, the, the GPU power supplies are cooled down. Uh, no, here is not the chipset. Sorry, here is the the RAM, the video RAM, and uh, the GPU power supplies. It's a nice laptop. Okay, it's on the recovery screen. I believe the job is done. Now we can heat up, and the fan should spin fast, right? So we can heat up the GPU. Yeah, and the fans are spinning faster. Okay. All done. Now we can clean it nicely. Eventually, we can replace uh, the thermal paste, but the job is done. Okay. That's great. So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you probably next week. Tomorrow I'm off. So oh, yeah, probably next week. Maybe over the weekend with another helium video. Okay? Bye.